So, so, so Lunar Echo asks, and I'll leave it at this. How much of a willingness to accept conservatism is based in privilege? Yeah. So, so I think there's a lot. And that's, that's one of the reasons why this Jordan Peterson stuff has been so interesting to me because, so I was a, a liberal for most of my life and I had fights with more left-leaning black folks while Bernie Sanders was running in the middle of Obama's second term where I was really working to justify not moving further left in my politics because I didn't see it being useful in the long run, right? I didn't think it would work. I had one homeboy uh, that I was arguing with on Facebook all the time. He was still wrong about a lot of shit, but like, I have to give, like, I gotta shout him out credit that like, he challenged me to the point where I really was like, okay, what am I really protecting by maintaining my love for Barack Obama, um, by maintaining my adherence to the status quo. And I realized it was just because even as a black man and with my specific intersections of oppression, I'm in a relatively privileged position. After I finish this manuscript video, I I'm gonna talk about like, you know, being a millennial. And like, if you saw the, the, the video with Julesy, Julesy points out that if you're black and you're born in like the 80s or, you know, the late 80s, early 90s to college educated parents that don't, that weren't born that, you know, in a relatively major city, but away from the crack epidemic, you are probably pretty privileged as a African-American person by, you know, internal standards. When I, I have cousins that grew up on the South side of Chicago on the wild hunnets that are just as smart as me, or they grew up way out in the suburbs and that fly in the milk experience, just as smart as me, but didn't have access to the type of resources and support systems, um, self-affirming, blackness affirming resources that I got to, I was, that I was a beneficiary of as a young boy. A lot of people, the thing about Hoteps that's so funny to me is that like, if Hoteps knew my history, they respect the shit out of me. Cause all the whole tap shit, all the Pan African shit that motherfuckers are learning um, in undergrad and in their twenties off YouTube and Instagram, that was like native to me. It wasn't whole tap bullshit. Some of it was, but it wasn't like it wasn't as watered down and weird as it's got now. It wasn't like Hebrew Israelite shit, but like that, you know, Pan African like activity uh, that was born in the sixties. That's what my parentage. Uh, and like my community was born from. I grew up with no issues about being black. And then I was surrounded by productive images of blackness. So of course I went to college. Of course I went to an HBCU. Of course I came out and had a decent job and, and was able to, you know, partner well with my now wife with relatively minimal issues. Um, of course I gave my children African names. You know what I'm saying? Of course I voted for Obama. Um, of course, all these things, right? So like this is shit. Do I still get pulled over by the police? Yeah. Did, did, did police show up at my doorstep one time with guns hide, hiding in the bushes looking for another nigga that looked like me? Yeah, that shit really did happen. But luckily I'm still here and I have the resources, especially now doing YouTube, that the shit that really affects black people in the struggle and, and people in the struggle in general, sexual minorities, black trans people, black queer people, trans and queer people in general, immigrants, the whole list of people that are negatively affected by conservative centrist politics. I'm not worried about that shit for real. So of course, man, I really want to hold on to that feeling when Obama was elected. I don't want to think about that other shit. You see what I'm saying? That is privilege. That is wanting the status quo in the world as you understand it, which is pretty good to you to be, you know, validated, to be righteous. You know what I'm saying? So all conservatives and I'm black, you know what I'm saying? And like the men, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to fully address it because it's, I'm coming from a weird space, but I'm going to tell you, especially being in Atlanta, especially being an agency, U grad, and especially coming out of that headspace, the elitism among black, you know, academics and and the, the black bourgeoisie, it's it's tough. 
it's problematic. And a lot of motherfuckers don't realize they're conservatives. Man, me and FD had similar backgrounds. You'd be surprised how many people didn't realize how wild the black experience is until undergrad post Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown. Now, I wasn't that bad. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I was really, because I, I had always worked with kids. I was really frustrated when Trayvon Martin uh, was murdered. And people were like, wow, I can't believe it still happened. I'm like, you can't? Black people. So the whole, the term conservative means to conserve, to hold on to the status quo as it has been, to hold on to the things that have worked in the past, even though a lot of these things never actually fucking worked. I talked about that with your boy Thomas Sowell and Candace Owens. Um, good old Uncle Tom, both of them. But when you don't have, and so the same thing with these Jordan Peterson centrists, if you are a heterosexual white male, as much as Jordan Peterson likes you to believe that you are, you know, actually the most oppressed group, you are not. So you don't care that much about Roe v. Wade being taken away. Um, you don't care that much about, you know, trans, anti-trans bills. You don't care that much about voter disenfranchisement. You don't care that much about all these things that Jordan Peterson tells you is really the the evil, you know, postmodern, you know, uh, leftist, whatever. You don't care about that stuff because that stuff has no value to you. And it's easy for you to say, well, I'm just a centrist. I just want common sense things to help people. And you don't understand that extreme is already where we are. That's a point I wish I'd have spent more time with in the video is that like centrists will say the left is too extreme and they aren't understanding that shit is already extreme. Climate change is already extreme. Police brutality is already extreme. Trans and queer phobia already extreme. Women's rights already like so much shit is already extreme. It's already they were putting kids in cages under Obama. You feel me? There were kids in cages under Obama. We just didn't hear about it. So and 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 then a year ago, a bunch of racists literally tried to do a coup on our nation. So we're already extreme. So if you are in the center of extreme, then you're right wing. You, you get me? Anywhere else in the world, shout out to um, Big Villainous and Overthrow Media. Anywhere else in the world, America's liberal party is a conservative party. It's center at best. So yeah, if you're, if you're like, I'm a centrist, but you're against critical race theory, you're against trans rights, you're 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 okay with wild shit that Jordan Peterson says, you're okay with normalizing misogyny and misogynoir in you know actual like academic discourse. Um you're okay with the abuse of black bodies, male and female, and otherwise. If you're okay with those things, as long as people are polite about it, you feel me? Then you are conservative because that's how shit's been going for the longest and will continue to go until people move further left. Uh, among my peers, I'm I'm the moderate. I was talking about that with BP the other day. Like, like I'm not I'm I'm low key not I'm too radical to like get uh you know certain um uh sponsors. I know that much. I know my sponsorship money is is weaker because of my political takes. But like, don't give, don't give St. Andrew 300,000 subscribers. Don't give a uh, villainous 300,000 subscribers. Y'all wanna see Radical for real. Shout out to them. Anyway, I'm about to roll y'all. I hope that rant didn't come off crazy. Um, This will be up live. I didn't, I didn't put up the last live because it got cut short. And literally the entire live is gonna be these two videos, anybody that cares. Uh, two videos. I released one video this morning. Um, and then the next one will probably be later on this week. Uh, but this will go up to the Patreon. Follow me on Patreon, all that good stuff. Y'all already know. Um, deuces, love y'all.